advanced chess techniques, deep dive into end games. End games are the final stage of a chess game where only a few pieces are left on the board. They are crucial because they often determine the outcome of a game. Here are some advanced chess techniques that can help you master end games. Pawn end games. Pawn end games are often the most common type of end game that arise. They are typically simple, yet require a high level of accuracy. The key to winning pawn end games is to use your pawns to create past pawns, which are pawns that have a clear path to the promotion square. Once you have a passed pawn, it can often be used to distract your opponent's pieces, creating opportunities to win material or deliver checkmate. It's also important to remember that in pawn end games, the king is often the most important piece, so don't leave it exposed. Rook end games. Rook end games are also quite common and often involve the use of passed pawns. However, the key to winning rook end games is to control the seventh rank, or second rank for black, with your rook. This is known as the seventh rank principle. By controlling this rank, you can create threats to your opponent's pawns and pieces, which can force them to make concessions that lead to winning material or delivering checkmate. Queen end games. Queen end games are the least common type of end game that arise, but they can still occur. They are typically more complex than pawn or rook end games, and require a high degree of tactical awareness. The key to winning queen end games is to use your queen to control key squares on the board, while also coordinating your other pieces to create threats. It's also important to remember that in queen end games, the king is often more vulnerable than in other end games, so be sure to keep it protected. Minor piece end games. Minor piece end games refer to end games where only bishops and or knights remain on the board. These end games can be quite tricky, as the pieces are often limited in their mobility. The key to winning minor piece end games is to use your pieces to control key squares and create threats. In general, knights are better in closed positions, while bishops are better in open positions. Be sure to use your pieces in a way that maximizes their potential. Zugzwang Zugzwang is a German word that means compulsion to move. It occurs when a player would prefer to pass their turn, but they are forced to make a move, which often leads to a disadvantageous position. Zugzwang can be used as a tactical tool to force your opponent into making a mistake, or it can be used defensively to prevent your opponent from creating threats. In conclusion, mastering endgames is an essential part of becoming a strong chess player. By understanding these advanced techniques and practicing them regularly, you'll be well on your way to winning more end games and improving your overall game.